Okay, well, we're going to celebrate um, you getting my antelope buck. And what we're going to make tonight is I took the back strap and um, we're going to stuff it. So I've actually butterflied this about a half inch thick, but you can use any meat with this recipe. And if you don't want to cut it out like this, you can also just slice it and then pound it thin if that's what you want to do. Um, tonight we're going to use some mushrooms. We're going to use some um, all different colored peppers, green, red, orange, and yellow, some green onion. You can also use shallots if you want, um, and some borsen and cheese, and a little bit of Montreal steak seasoning. We're going to saute that all together. We're going to roll that all up in there, put some toothpicks in it, and we're going to put it on the grill. Onions, peppers, and our yummy mushrooms. And tonight I'm actually using some baby portobellas. I always like to use a lot of colors. It always just makes it, I don't know why, but it seems like it tastes better when it's colorful. I'm just going to mix all that up together and let it saute. You know, if you like it a little more seasoned, and you know, I kind of do, and I can't help myself because you know how much I love my crazy Jane's mixed up salt, I'm just going to add a little bit of that just to sp spice it up just a little bit. And after we finish sauteing all of our vegetables together, we're going to deglaze it with a little bit of white wine. Our vegetables are just about ready, so we're going to go ahead and add our little bit of white wine just to deglaze the pan and get all those good flavors in there. Just about a quarter of a cup. Okay, so they're all cooked down now. I'm going to set this aside. And now I'm going to take the force and cheese and I'm going to spread it on the meat and get that ready so we can roll them up. Okay, so now we're going to get our back straps that we've cut thin or any meat that we've actually butterflied or pounded out thin. That's about a half inch, three quarters of an inch thick. And I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of Montreal steak seasoning on there. And then I'm going to take my Borson cheese and right down the center, I'm just going to kind of put a line of that. Just like that. And now we're just going to take a little bit of that mixture and set it right down the center. Right on top of that cheese get them ready to grill. Pinch it together. We'll put our toothpicks in. In there, like that. We are ready to grill. So I'm going to go ahead and we've got our grill warmed up here. But remember, if you don't have a grill or if the weather's bad and um, you want to make this dish, you can always Put it in a baking dish and cook it at 350 until it's done to the way you like it. Um, so just because you don't have a grill or the weather's bad, don't let it keep you from making this. Just very gently place them on the grill. Okay, we're gonna let those go. We'll just turn them in a minute. Well, one of the things that I always like to tell people, especially with wild game where there's not a lot of fat in it, be sure not to overcook it because you will dry it out. Oh my goodness. I wish you guys could smell this. It is absolutely wonderful. I'll tell you what, we're gonna have some happy hunters. I'll have to test it and make sure. Oh my gosh. Mm. I think I need to kill another antelope. <laughs>